Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tara. We're here with your top secret cross watchers video, everything they think, they feel, they intend, and their actions that they will take with you. Two of coins right now, their thoughts are that they need to make a decision, they need to stop juggling two different ideas, two different people, two different decisions, something of two here. Look at this, oh look at this. They also think that they need to make a commitment to you. N interesting. So juggling two ideas with the two of cups is should we marry or should we not? Should we step forward? The six of swords says that this person feels that the relationship has hit a bit of difficulty. So it really speaks to the fact that they, they think that they have to solve some sort of problem in which there has been some sort of indecision about a very sincere love relationship. Okay, so in terms of their heart space, they have great clarity. They have great clarity about their feelings. They do want the truth also. They want to operate in truth. The Ten of Swords says that there's been some wounding here. The Ten of Swords can actually feel that your person is feels as though they've backstabbed you or that you backstabbed them we'll have to use the clarifiers to find out but we see this person rushing in in their heart space they want to nurture the relationship right now in their heart space they feel very wounded either about an action that they took or an action that you took and they have great clarity about it in terms of their intentions we have the king of wands that's owning your stuff, right? King of Wands is Leo energy. We have the Judgment card, which is Scorpio energy. And we have Virgo energy, meaning that they intend to work on things. But they, there is a release here. So for those of you who are in a situation where your person is, you're in a third party situation, your person is juggling two lovers, it does look like their intention is to release, to release a lover. Uh, it does look as though their intention is also to choose a somebody who is single. Let's see what their actions are going to be. Ace of Wands taking action, literally taking action. We can see the Leo King here is holding a big wand. So something is being left behind so that something new can grow is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune, fate and destiny stands in your favor. In terms of their actions, they will act at the right time. They're waiting for that perfect moment to make a move. And we have the action is Knight of Wands. So this does look for most of you as though this person was juggling two, two options. Sometimes it's just dating, you know, and before you make a commitment to date exclusively that that you have to make the decision to date exclusively and step up, step up to the next level. But what I'm seeing Capricorn here is that your person's actions is that they're in this player energy. All right, so let's clarify these. Let's see, two of coins. Why is the two of coins juggled? What's a juggling about? Yeah, we do have this person wanting to make a better offer. So they do feel as though they need to make a decision and they may need to make an offer. But when I get the Three of Wands, it's not really a third party situation, but it doesn't look like it's, um, it's just them deciding on dating you either. I also get the clarification for the Two of Cups is an unhappy marriage. Now, I see some of these people will, you know, some of your people will be in um, separation from a lover, marriage, partner, long-term partner. We also see this energy of they're very much on the defensive about what they did. They really feel as though they owe explanations, but they don't really want to give an explanation. The lover's card says in their heart space that they have absolutely, uh, they need to make a decision, but it also means that they see you as a soulmate. They really don't want to be in a situation where they hurt you. I get them really thinking about how painful it would be to leave you behind. I don't see them leaving you behind because the chariot card is coming in fast. So we're seeing this person 
feeling as though they've already hurt you and it hurts them to hurt you. They're trying to figure out how to make things better. And the Two of Cups, oh my gosh, they're rushing in again. So what I'm seeing here is the Two of Cups is you, Capricorn. I very much see this as being you. But something has ended here. So they do have an ending and it does look like you, they are in a situation where they're, they're in the process of making a decision. So what is their intention with you? Their intention is to be honorable and and with this Leo King is an honorable king. Three of Cups, that is a friendship card of love. Three of Cups, Three of Cups, it's, it's about being with your best friend. What are they releasing? Why is the judgment card here? Why is, what is this person releasing? Intending to release. I get, it's interesting. I'm, this person may not be married to somebody, but they might be living with them. And I'm getting that they intend to release. I get, you know, I get this decision to choose one. I'm getting the decision. The upside down decision is like, I don't know if I can release my person. Okay, why is the Virgo, yeah, Virgo here, energy. This person really wants to be free and have, I hate to say this, but they want to be free. They want to be able to keep their options open. That's their intention. And then when we look down here, we see that they feel very passionate towards you. But it's all about the wands, right? This is all about the wands, even though they clearly have heart space for you. It looks like they're in love with you. I get them feeling remorse and regret about having, you know, treated you dirty. I mean, raw, this is this is not good treatment. Ten of Swords, look at that, release. It looks as though there's been a breakup, you know, without a doubt. It looks as though at some point you either found out that they had another person or they had another person when you first began and you're not putting up with it anymore. But it shows that right now, you know, they feel as though you are... Somebody that they really love, somebody that they owe an apology, somebody who's a soulmate, but when we see their actions, we still get this, you know, this Knight of Wands action, the Ace of Wands. It's all about the wand here. And they seem to be willing to keep secrets from you. So that's pretty, that's pretty difficult. Okay, so let's look at the this looks like a very challenging situation for you because I don't think that you're getting what you want in the immediate future. I feel as though your person is uncomfortable with the idea of going to the next level. They feel really guilty and badly about things that they've done. This can always be vice versa, but boy, oh boy, a higher power. Well, that's good. A higher power is stepping in. This person wants to be fair, time for a nap. They're just gonna take a little break here. By the book is the advice of spirit. Let's see what other advice we have. Enchanting gifts, okay. So the energy is very much that your person wants to be fair, but it doesn't really look like they've been fair. And they, they're taking a nap means they're not gonna act on this quickly. And it does look like for many of them, they're very tied up with family, family obligations, the feeling that they can't leave a marriage. So I feel as though you have somebody who loves you here, who really, really is in a situation where they feel like they're in a pickle, they feel like they prefer you, but they also feel as though, you know, they can't walk away. Yin yang energy. Yin yang energy is masculine, feminine energy. It's a balance of energy. This person seems, you know, they're not very conflicted though as the outcome because their outcome says that they're going to have remorse and regret about just giving you the wand. They're going to have remorse and regret because you're going to feel stabbed in the back. You may not stick around. They're going to throw caution to the winds. They're going to come in. They're going to really, you know, they want to have an evening of love making with you. And the moon card, they're really going to keep you in the dark still. So it, this is um, a pretty challenging reading. Let's see what Spirit is advising for you, Capricorn. I'm not really getting answers here. Even the, even the, even the Oracle cards are sort of hesitant here. 
So what should our beautiful Capricorn friends do about this? Spirit of gratitude, okay. I guess, you know, that gratitude, the attitude of gratitude brings more, is good for manifestation. It is what it is. It is what it is, okay. Well, so you're willing to accept it to some degree. It does look like there's a lot of love between the two of you. A lot of passion. So when we look at the different uh, cards on the board, we see Earth sign energy. We get the Two of Cups, Cancerian, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Ten of Swords, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Cancer, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo. A lot of Virgo energy here. Um, and the Seven of Cups is Piscean energy. Ace of Wands, very much fire sign energy. Again, a lot of Gemini energy. So you might be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sagittarius, again, Gemini energy again. And we have that Sagittarius energy. So it really is it's kind of very interesting, um, kind of narrow group. Seeing beyond. Okay, so what I'm getting is that you're seeing beyond what we see in the cards. That you feel, you seem to feel pretty confident here. You feel confident in your love. Um, so I will leave it there for you. Capricorn, thanks. Have a beautiful day.